Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking Player of the Month Messi again. This is the second time this year that Player of the Month Messi should be coming out. He won La Liga's Player of the Month award uh, for the month of February, which was what just released a couple days ago. I'm going to show you the tweet right now to confirm to you and show you that he actually did win Player of the Month because this is important. We all need to know this. Uh, that he wins the player of the month, right? This is the actual tweet showing Messi winning player of the month. El jugador del FC Barcelona es Leo Messi. Me mejor jugador del mes de febrero en la Liga Santander. So he has been named. He is the one. He is the player of the month. And currently, uh, we do not have an SBC for this Messi card yet because we have this Courtois player of the month SBC that still has one day, 13 hours left remaining on it so this is going to expire in the next day and a half or so it's going to be going away uh and we're going to be getting a messy player of the month sbc to replace this so this will be the second time ever that we've had a messy player of the month sbc last time in december was the first time ever and we want, we're going to look back on that sbc as kind of what we should expect uh for this second round of Messi player of the month. We kind of have a good idea of how these things go nowadays with the Messi player of the month. We've had a Neymar player of the month now, so we kind of know how EA likes to run when they have these big time squad building challenges for player of the months that feature massive expensive players in this game, right? Messi last time was like 2.1 to 2.2 mil, I think, for most of the time that he was out. He dropped to like 1.8 mil at, at some points when fodder was stupid low and they would rebound to points where he was like 2.1 mil so i think this sbc would be one that people would be interested in again because if we take a look at messi's cards um you, you kind of have to take into account what cards messi has right he's got a 96 what would this player of the month be i think this player of the month would be a 97 rated i doubt they would give him a 98 so i think it would be a plus one rating so what can you expect from his 95 to his 96 he went up plus two pace Plus one shot, plus one passing, plus two physical, plus one defense, and plus one dribbling. So I would expect another, kind of looking at this card right here, maybe even this card, I would look at some plus ones and plus two in all the stat categories. So probably 99 dribbling, you'd probably have 95 passing, 95 shooting, 92 pace, and then 43 defense, basically. I would expect plus ones, maybe a plus two from this card, but it would be 97 rated. It would go one rating above this player of the month version right here. Then the next thing is, is, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? And what's the cost going to be? And what are they going to do for this SBC? Can we invest in it? Which that last question, can we invest in it? That's a big time. Yes. From me right now, based on prices that I'm seeing on the market, but I want to talk about the cost of this SBC first as one of our examples that we're going to use and how they're going to make this SBC. I would expect it to be very similar to the first one that they put out, which, as you can tell right now, uh, was it went out when it was in the game. It started at like 2.1 mil. It started and it went down. Fodder got cheaper as we got into Team of the Year. Fodder was very cheap as we headed into Team of the Year. It's like 1.8 million coins at its very cheapest. What is this SBC going to be around this time? I think it's going to be somewhere between the 2.1 to 2.2 mil range, all the way up to 2.5 just kind of depends on when they release that SBC, how much they require for it, and what SBC fodder is when he actually comes out. Because if we look at SBC fodder right now, prices are low, especially in the area where this card is going to be requiring the most cards. 87s, 88s, and 89s have dropped considerably since uh, the Ramos SBC came out, and we have had these cards drop in price because of the two for one packs and all the packs that have been opened this weekend. Take a look at this. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit because um, this needs to be zoomed in. Check this out here. This Allison was 34, 33,000 coins in the middle of the week last week. We got the Ramos SBC and we had the Shapeshifter Guarantee pack that came out last week. And this card boomed at 45,000 coins on Thursday. What literally happened the next day on Friday, this card goes from 45K, drops off a cliff with all the two for one packs going out down to 34,000 coins. The same thing happened today on Saturday. He was 34 to 35,000 coins all day, being the cheapest at the time when those two for one packs are coming out. So these high rates have dropped a ton, right? And, and you know, why am I interested in investing in these right now? Well, if you think about it, these high rates are 
at their you know usual lows right these high rated cards fluctuate all the time between when we have pack supply and when we have really good sbcs these cards are low right now and we still have all of the sbcs except for the the um the the guaranteed shapeshifter pack which helped some of those 89s rise a little bit but we still have this neymar sbc out for 11 more days we're getting a player of the month messy sbc which i'm talking about right now and then possibly a player of the month bruno fernandez coming in you know, five, six days as well. All of those SBCs are going to be hyped up. People are still completing Neymar. People still need to buy 89 rateds for these player of the month SBCs. Uh, and that's why I'm a huge fan right now of 89 rated cards for this SBC, for the Messi SBC, because I think they're going to make the, they're going to make the requirements basically the same as last time, uh, because they've done it twice now with Messi and with Neymar. They've required three 89 rated squads, I think, for the first time that Messi had player of the month. Yeah. He had three 89 rated squads, uh, a couple 88s, an 87 and 86, I think. And you, I mean, you got good packs in return. You were getting 100, 50K packs in return um, for some of those SBCs for doing them because they were 89 rated squads. Um, so I think that high rated are a fantastic investment at the moment. High rated informs as well. 85, 86, 87 rated informs are definitely good looks at this time. Uh, on the market as well. So definitely take a look at those. And when you're investing in these high rated, right? The 89s are kind of my favorite because they go from like 35K to 45K so easily. Um, focus on, I like focusing on the center backs, right? Chiellini, you know, sometimes if you invest in one of the 89s is like Allison or, or Harry Kane, right? Usually Kane, Lewandowski are some of the cheapest 80, 89 rated. Um, but the ones that rise the most are the center backs because they get the best links and they're the most necessary for chemistry that you need in the squad. So that's why I'm a huge fan of buying the center backs. That's why you saw me have some Godines. I have some Koulibaly's and I have some, um, and I have some Chiellini because those are kind of my favorites in terms of investing in fodder. 36K for Koulibaly um, is, is not bad. 35K is like a perfect buy price for these in my opinion, especially if you can get some of the, the Barca boys, right? Griezmann. Believe it or not, this card is basically SBC fodder. He's like 38, 37, 38K. Um, during the lighting rounds, this man goes lower than that, 37 at the moment, 36K for Griezmann. I have a couple of these. I'm a huge fan of this investment as well, as well as Sergio Busquets, both from Barcelona. Both went up big last time. Well, Busquets went up big last time. Messi came out. Uh, but Griezmann is now SBC fodder as well, which making it's making him really a good look for uh investments for this sbc so take a look at fodder i'm a huge fan of that investment now and actually in the next couple of weeks so if you're somebody who wants to go unassigned on fodder you know this could be you know an opportunity for you to get on some fodder some high rated informs and stuff like that fodder across the board is pretty cheap if we take a look at it again especially over the past few days 86s are now getting cheap 13k that's viable for me 84s are very cheap 83s are still very cheap, except for some of the ones with good links. Those are up a bit because of the 84 to 91 guaranteed SBC. Those are inflated a tiny bit because of that. So just keep an eye out for those. Gold informs. Let me take a look at these really fast. High rated gold informs. We're talking 85 rated at 15, 16K. Uh, this Glick would be a good one for that. 16K for that card is not bad. Alonzo is in team of the week this week. Martinez is not. 23K. When you're buying some of these informs, uh, to purchase for an SBC investment. Of course, you want to focus on stuff that's going to be required in the SBC, which this time would be Spanish, La Liga, maybe Argentine. But you want to focus on stuff that is out of packs. Stuff that is in the current team of the week will not rise up as much because it's still in packs at the moment. And yes, it'll still rise because people will be using that and those will be the cards that get into some solutions. But if you buy the cards that aren't like a Higuain, right? I don't think he's in... He is, he's not in this week's team of the week, right? 86 Higuain is one of the cheapest 86s. If you can get him for like 23,000 coins, look what he went up to this weekend. He was 31K and now he's back. He, this is from team of the week 11. Can I go get myself a Higuain right now? If I can find a Higuain at 25K, I would be a fan of that because this is a card that is out of packs that has been being used in SBCs since team of the week 11. Oh, there he was right there. Higuain, how much, how much, how much? 27k 27k for higuain maybe i can try to snag an open bid at like 25 or 20 or something like that these are the types of informs that you want to invest in when you're investing in fodder are the ones that have, are an old team of the week so that's just a tip for you guys as well 
that are looking to invest in this SBC for Messi. I want to talk about just general market movements with this SBC as well. Last time we had Player of the Month Messi, I'm going to drag you over to Footbin one more time to take a look at this. Last time we had Player of the Month Messi, it was the first time we ever got that SBC. There was a ton of hype, a ton of panic selling. We saw icons going down in price. Messi's gold card went down. Messi, this Messi team of the group stage card went down a bunch. Look at this. The SBC was released on December 12th last year, or last uh, last time, which technically was last year too, 2019. Gotcha. Anyways, 2019, December 12th was when the SBC was released. People saw the price at like 2.1, 2.2 mil. So this tradable version went from 2.2 mil, it was actually below that, and it boomed right back up to 2.5 because everybody saw the SBC and they were like, yo, it's not worth it for me. I'm just going to buy it right back. Uh, so that's why you saw a boom on that card. At the moment, we're not really seeing a lot of panic selling on this Messi. I'm not seeing panic selling on the gold Messi. On the, the team of the year is down a little bit, but not much. Like I'm not seeing a ton of these cards. And th that just shows me that people, I don't think people know that this SBC is coming and that it's ready. And that's going to really be interesting for this SBC when it comes out. We're really going to have to monitor and see if it's worth it, if the stat boost is big, if the stat boost is big, right? If they give Messi plus twos in a lot of the categories, if they make him a 98, then you're going to have a lot more extra demand for this SBC than you would have had before. And if they make this SBC under 2 million coins, so basically the same price as the past SBC, then I do think you would have more people that go to do this one. We have to talk about demand with this one too. A lot of people did the first SBC, right? A lot of people did that first player of the month Messi because it was the first one. It was in December and they're like, yo, I would love a 96 Messi that I could use for the rest of the year in my club. Now we're getting towards team this season again. Is there going to be enough hype for it? It all depends. If they make this SBC 2 to 2.5 mil, I don't think a lot of people will do it. That's my opinion. Even though fodder is cheap, if they make it 2 to 2.5 mil, fodder probably won't rise up that much. If they make it 1.8 mil, Fodder will then rise to probably make the SBC to around 2 million coins or a little bit more because then I think people would end up doing it because right now you have the option of buying this Messi for 1.9. You can do this 99 Messi for 4.3 mil or you can wait a couple months for team of the season and then have yourself Messi for another a, a team of the season Messi, which, you know, depends on the price. Who knows, right? Messi, the shapeshifter card, we can't we can't leave that one out there as well. That's a position change, so that's a bit different. If this Messi is a position change one, that would also bring some hype, right? Like we have this Messi shapeshifter, which is a position change center forward. If the new one, if this new Messi that comes out, play the month Messi, is also a center forward or a cam, that would mean a lot for his SBC price as well. If it's central, I do think that would be more demand for the card. And again, that's just up to EA what they want to position that card as an SBC. I could see it be central since they just released this. People that want to go and buy this card now would sell that would sell that card and maybe go do the player of the month because it's 97 rated. So that's the biggest thing that I want to talk about with this SBC is if it's a center attacking mid Messi or a center forward or a striker Messi, I do think you will see a lot more people want to go do that card because of the position change. It just depends again what EA wants to do with that card if they release it right wing, which I think they will do. But if they do center attack in mid, that would be a lot more hype for this card. And then I think you would see more market movements once that SBC drops. I think you would see the high rated golds rise and you might see other versions of Messi fall and other high rated icons, uh, attacking icons, maybe like a Garincha. Garincha last time was somebody who took a pretty, really Pretty sizable hit in price when the Messi SBC was supposed to come out before it came out. Like this 92 Garincha was somebody that a lot of people wanted to use. And he took a hit in price because people were listing this card and because they wanted to get player of the month Messi, basically. So this is again another one of those cards to watch. If a center attack and mid card comes out, somebody you you might want to watch. Just watch some of these icon moments. Center attack and mid, maybe like a like a Baggio, center attack and mid. He's a, he's a center attacking mid icon, icon moments. So just kind of watch that. Maybe like a Ronaldinho could take a hit in price because of this messy. So just be careful with these cards. And it's again, it's going to be one of those decisions that we kind of have to make once we see the SBC come out and once we know what is actually going to be released and what the card is going to look like and what the SBC is going to cost. Because if they make it the same SBC as last time, uh, then it's probably going to be like 1.8 mil um, like it would be priced right now. 
and I do feel like a lot of people would go and do that. We've been on a roll with some pretty good, pretty good value SBCs lately. I mean, the way that things have been going, this SBC, you know, not the best, but not terrible. This SBC, it's all right. But the Kolarov is decent. The Rooney is decent. The Ramos is decent. Looking back on some of the other player SBCs, this Trezeguet is honestly not terrible either. It's okay, but it's not terrible. Neymar, all right. This one was overpriced. Um, this Courtois was pretty cheap. I mean, some of the SBCs we've been getting have been decent value lately. So I, I wonder if that trend continues um, on foot. So again, I would expect this SBC to come out on either early, early this week. Uh, I don't know if they would save it for later in the week. I would think it's going to be soon. And that's why I'm putting this video out for you guys, because I think this SBC is coming soon. And I want to talk about the market movements because, because of it and the possible investments that we do have because of it as well. I've got myself a first owner untradeable Messi in my squad that 94 right there. I was lucky enough to pack it from, um, from an upgrade pack. So I'm not going to be doing the Messi player of the month SBC. I feel content with that one for now. Um, but maybe we'll try to get the team of the season card down the line, but something to take into con into, uh, just into memory and into thinking when you're thinking about doing this SBC is team of the season is not that far away. So play the month Messi would expire around the middle of April, right? Middle, early April. Just something to think about when you're, if you're pondering doing this SBC, that time frame, where we're going to be at in a month from now, when that SBC would expire. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.